What's up daily doodlers? I hope you're all having a great day today. If not, then you're in luck because today I am finally caving and I am going to be recreating TikTok art. <laughs> So last night at 12 o'clock in the morning, I could not sleep and I was kind of in what that weird stage that you get in when you are tired but you can't sleep and everything just becomes really, really funny and you're just kind of loopy. And I thought, you know what would be a great thing to do right now? Download TikTok! And I could not stop laughing. So that is literally the only reason this video exists is because at 12 o'clock in the morning I couldn't sleep and I decided to download TikTok. So there's that. While I was on TikTok I noticed that there are some art things on TikTok. There's not much because that's not what TikTok is about but I did notice some things and I thought I wonder if I could make a video of me recreating art that I find on TikTok. I've already looked at the art hashtag a little bit and I, I saw some of the stuff, but uh, I haven't seen all of it yet. So now we have, we have this first one. Oh. So cool. I don't know if I can do that though. I think I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try to do it. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm going to try. Alright, so I have my pencil and my ruler here. I am assuming that they did their initials, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do DD for doodle dust, even though that's not my real name initials, but it's fine. My second D is like 30 times better than my first D, but I really don't want to go into it. Okay, so I have an above view here. So, maybe went down like halfway down the page, like right here, like two inches-ish. I know exactly what I'm doing. Does that work? I think that works. It looks like it works. Now I just gotta sh do some shading and darken it in and it'll be fine. Okay, now shading. We gotta make this darker because it's it's an edge. It's like it, it's 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 right next to the, the, the thing. <laughs> okay, so I think the point of the shadow is I mean, okay, I know <laughs> I know that the point of the shadow is to be to make it seem like it's to make it seem more 3D, which means that the shadow has to be on the page. The full shadow has to be on the page. So that means that I can't see it because I almost went like off the page like that. I can't do that. It has to be fully on the page. Cece, what are you doing? <laughs> the shadow is a little wonky, but uh, I think it'll do. So now I just need to cut it out. There we go. Okay. So it is nowhere near the quality that his is, but uh, I think that's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> and I don't want to spend forever on this because I want to get multiple, multiple artworks done in this video. So let's, let's uh, see how it looks. So yeah, uh, not terrible, but uh, not my best work. <laughs> All right, let's try to find another TikTok that I can uh, make art from. What is this? Oh, whoa, that's cool. Oh, he d okay, that's really cool. I don't think I can do that. Okay, hold on. Let me, I want to try though. Now, I'm sure that he carefully and strategically planned what he was doing. However, I'm just going to wing it. All right, there we go. There's my, 
there's my pencil the little a little line that it's drawing so now if I open this up I do this uh, can I turn it into some other art form what does that look like what would that be let's see let me let me look around at some of my some of my oh it could be a it could be it could be a little paint thing a little a little tube of paint all right so we have this little this little paint tube here <laughs> and you can do uh, you can do this and give it give it a little I don't know what a what what do they even put on paint tubes these days I don't know let's just let's just put a little paint splatter let's do that. I love me some paint splatters. Okay guys, I have completed my, my version of this fold thing. <laughs> and before you say anything, yes, I have switched desks and it has changed locations. And uh, I got a haircut and between takes, it turned from 2018 to 2019. So happy new year. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so we have we have here, we have a little pencil. I started out with a pencil. I just kind of drew that because I didn't know what else to draw. And then you open it this way and the pencil becomes an eraser. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so then we have a marker here and also the edge of the paper. I didn't, I didn't want to uh, continue with it being like the edge of a paper, I didn't want it to be that indefinitely, so then I changed it to a ruler. Wow! So then you open that up and the eraser becomes a tube of paint! All right, hold on. Let me explain my... So, uh, this one was so difficult, I had no idea what to make this marker. And literally the only thing I could think of was to make it into a hot glue gun. Like, so I was like, okay, so if this is, if this is a glue gun, then this should be like a, a, a tube of, of glue. Like, you know, kind of like Elmer's glue or something. But you open that up and this turns into a butterfly because, you know, in like, in like, in arts and crafts, you have things like butterflies to like butterfly stickers to stick in your like scrapbooks and stuff right that's a thing right i definitely didn't know it definitely wasn't the fact that i had no idea what to do with the tip of a glue bottle uh it was it's definitely it's it's a butterfly and then which way do i open it this way yeah you open it this way and this little like wooden carving guy, I didn't explain this guy. He's like a little wooden carving thing. Uh, that's, that's what he is. <laughs> he's, he's just a wooden carving and these are like the carving tools. So then you open up this way and the wood carving becomes a spool of thread. Ayy! And I just realized I didn't turn that into anything. So that's awkward. <laughs> and then you open that up and there's just some more art supplies. For just coming up with it on the spot and just kind of being like, like drawing the first thing that comes to my mind. I don't think it's all that bad. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but how do you people do anything without doing sketches first? Like, is, is there a trick to it? Does it just come naturally? Does it come with lots and lots of practice? Did he have to draw this, like, specific drawing before he did it without, without the sketch? Like, what is going on here? How does he do this? No way. No way. What? 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 First of all, Nickelodeon has a TikTok. Second of all, what is this? Third, they are up on their memes, apparently. Uh, wow, I'm impressed. What? Uh... It's 
this tutorial time. Oh, I've seen this one before. Like so much. I am clearly winging it. Crap you need is paper towels, canvas, paint of complimentary kind of sort of I don't really care colors, and paintbrush. First, you got to decide which way you want the galaxy to go. If you want it to go straight or diagonal. I'm extra, so I'm gonna go diagonal. Paint in streaks of colors. You want the dark ones on the outside and the lighter ones on the middle. Then take a paper towel and you're gonna smear the crap out of this. Your canvas should look kinda like this, and your hands and everything else should look like a disaster. This also might have been my second attempt. The next step is the stars. Take your paintbrush, dip in a little bit of water. It's honestly so and cool. Then dip in a little bit of white. Turn brush to skinny side. You're gonna wanna pull back the bristles and splatter away. You wanna make sure you follow the line of your galaxy. I'm also gonna dip some of the back end of my brush in there and put in some bigger stars. And there you have it, you have a galaxy. Master level unlocked. Okay, so that's actually really cool and I really wanna do that. I have a couple of problems though. The first is I don't usually paint and I don't have a canvas to use. That's not true. One second. This was my attempt at doing paint. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm technically, it's technically not done. However, I gave up on it because I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> All right, I made a quick wardrobe change because I wasn't about to get my other clothes dirty. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> so here are the color options I have and I can like, you know, mix and match and stuff. I have white, I have carbon black, I have ultra, ultramarine deep blue. I have cool red, I have yellow light, and I have hooker's green. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm kind of wanting like a purple and pink sort of vibe here. Uh, so, uh, oh dear. Okay, so the first color I'm going to be making is purple because that's, that's going to be the easiest, hopefully. Whoop! It comes out fast. Why did I do that? I wanted more white, not more red. That was stupid. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, actually putting it onto the canvas. So uh, I definitely do not have enough paint for this, but I'm just going to go for it. Uh, so here I have my uh, sort of kind of complimentary, I don't really care colors, as she calls them. <laughs> Um, uh, so, here, here we go. I definitely do not have enough paint for this. See, the, the one thing about this girl that I have noticed, that I've seen a couple of her TikToks, and she uses so much paint. So much. It's terrible. Like, I am always so scared stingy with my paint because I want it to last as long as possible and she just splotches it all on there and is like, well, here you go. So I'm going to try to replicate that. However, it is killing me inside. <laughs> really kind of wishing I had a larger thing to put all this paint on right about now. Thing is, I think you gotta do this before it dries and I think I'm failing. I am definitely going to need a crap ton more of this purple. I like how beforehand I was like, just a little bit of paint, it's fine, I don't need too much, and now I'm just like, <gasps> oh, the paint. It's all going to get mixed in in the end anyway, right? Right? Oh, shoot. I probably should have done the light blue and then the purple. It's fine. It's fine. This is art, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it expresses my emotions. All right, so just like she said to do, I have put, did, I've done, uh, I have done it uh, lightest to darkest. Well, the uh, darkest, depending on which way you look at it, the lightest is on the inside, the darkest is on the outside. That's, that's what's happening here. Uh, so, now, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to completely mess everything up here. Okay, now I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just like, oh gosh. Oh no. 
Why do I- why do I feel like this is not what I was supposed to do? Oh no! Oh no, this is terrible! Okay, maybe it's like a- it's like a worse before it gets better type of thing. Type of deal. Maybe it's- maybe it's that type of deal there. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Right? Like, this isn't- this isn't terrible. That looks sort of semi like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to work like this. <laughs> I literally want YouTube to be my job one day. <laughs> I don't think this is how you do it. Okay, so this time I just got a paper plate to uh, <laughs> put my paint on, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. So uh, it's a it's a piggy. It's a cute little piggy. I'm pretty sure we've had this paper plate since I was five years old. <laughs> I am. So really running out of white paint here, so... Uh, don't try this at home, kids! Okay, so, uh, I don't uh, think I've ever done the splattering technique before, so we'll see how this goes. Whoa! <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! I'm getting paint on my green screen! How do you... How do you keep the paint on the brush so that it'll fling to the canvas and not go onto your fingers. Maybe I should try a different brush. Ooh, I wonder how a toothbrush would work. Okay, yeah, that is a ton better. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my, uh, this is my galaxy. Uh, <laughs> tutorial courtesy of, uh, What's her name again? <laughs> the Gemstone Artist! A galaxy tutorial courtesy of the Gemstone Artist. So this is the beautiful artwork up close. It's beautiful. Ignore the paint splatters on my green screen. Those won't show up when I'm editing, right? The camera won't notice, right? And uh, this is uh... This is the wonderful mess I have made. I used so many paper towels! <laughs> Alright guys, that just about wraps it up for today's Recreating Art from TikTok video. However, there is one more TikTok that I want to take a look at that I am pretty sure I want to do. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys my art ways. First you draw a crappy piece of art, then you dislike it and screaming at it so it being scared at you. Wally, you're now good art. Help me. So you can see guys how I want to make this the last tutorial of the day because it would just be so helpful to use this trick in literally anything. You can use it on any any sort of artwork that you are working on, so I am going to try that today. There we go. That's my, uh, that's my crappy piece of artwork. Now, with the tutorial that we just watched, all you gotta do is scream at it, it will be scared at you, and then it'll be good art! <laughs> Isn't it an amazing trick? So, hold on, let me, I gotta get prepared for this. Well, now things are just awkward. <laughs> I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor! Pie, pie, pie. Dad, I'm hungry. Pie hungry, I'm dad. Why did you name me this way? Why, why, why? 